The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. So, you know the Mir Yeshiva over here on Ocean Parkway, and where is it, Avenue R? So, they used to be, it's a Yeshiva, Mir actually is a town in Europe. So, they used to be in Europe. Everyone back then was struggling dramatically financially. There was this one book called the Ketzot Tachoshen. It's a very powerful and deep book that only two students in the whole yeshiva owned the book. And like it was a big deal because everyone wanted to have their hands on that book but only two students can. And then one boy joined the yeshiva and he had the book. And people were like into it. He has this book. They start to borrow the book. They wait online to borrow the book. They had a sign and paper to borrow the book. And they would call this kid the rich kid because who else could afford a book? So they'd call it the rich kid. He's the rich kid. That's the rich kid. Do you borrow the book from the rich kid? Do you sign online for the rich kid? What did, they, did the rich kid give us the book? And that was his nickname, the rich kid, because he had this book. Years later, World War II happens, Mir leaves, whatever, they come here, and a rabbi who grew up was studying with that rich kid. And he says, they're reminiscing, and the, rabbi, the rich kid says, you know what, you know how poor we were back then, you know how much we struggled. So the other is, what do you mean poor? You were the rich kid! What are you talking about poor? He says, I was a rich kid. Are you kidding me? He says, yes, you were. You're the only one who owned the book. He says, you want to know how I owned that book? My parents were so poor, you can't even imagine. They were so poor that we didn't even have kiddush on wine on Friday night because we couldn't afford to buy grape juice or wine. We made kiddush on the chali. That's how poor we were. My mom had one Shabbat dress. One. She took that dress and sold it so that she could buy me the book. Rich kid. That rich kid, his name is Rav Shmuel Bernbaum. He ended up becoming the Rosh Yeshiva of that Mir Yeshiva. And he started studying when he got that book or maybe before and he didn't stop for the next 90 years of his life. Really didn't stop because he saw what his mother was about. And that's what we, we appreciate our mother, mothers and fathers so much because all the physical they give us, they give us homes, they give us clothing, they give us food, they take care of us, they give us advice. But deeper than that and so much more powerful than that is they give us a gift that never stops wrapping. It's a tree that keeps on giving. And that's the gift of eternity. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.